What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. And today I'm going to be doing my Q&A today. Um, it's going to be probably a special Q&A for me because we're going to be talking about John Moxley later in this video, but for right now, let's just get to the let's just get to a few questions. So, as always, my friend Michael, what are your recent pickups? I got three right here that I just unboxed on a YouTube channel. Um, it is already up by now. If you guys are watching this on Sunday when it's uploaded, it will be already up there. But my first pickup, or... or not really my pickups, um, sort of like unboxing slash birthday, but I got the Royal Rumble 2019, you got Brock and Becky on the cover, and on the spine you have Daniel Bryan, or Brian Danielson and AJ Styles, Sasha Banks and Ronda Rousey, um, I have not watched this pay-per-view for two years, so I don't remember any of this. Um, but I love the cover. Uh, and I like the back, too, with the white. Uh, you also have Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor for the Universal title. Um, Shane McMahon and The Miz tag team title match. Um, 30 men, 30 women, two, two star stud Royal Rumble matches. So you open it up. You got red and blue right there. And you also get a Rey Mysterio card. So I'm, I'm going to pop this in right now. Because I'm watching all of 2019 on Peacock, Raw and SmackDown again. Yes, I know. I have a problem. Deal with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you and you won't believe what I found in my room earlier, um, like two days ago, dude. Guys, I forgot I had this a Jimmy, a Jimmy Hart, the Mouth of the South autograph, right there, signed by him from oh 2005 Hall of Fame. But isn't this cool? I forgot I had this. This is awesome. I'm I'm keeping that mint in condition right here. So my next pick, um my my next birthday um unboxing was a Elim El Elimination Chamber 2019. You have um Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles. Jeff Hardy, which is, like, awesome. Um, Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, and Kofi Kingston. On the back, you have Ronda Rousey, Ruby Riot, Jeff Hardy, and Daniel Bryan. Um, you have Shane, and then uh, SmackDown Women's Champions. And then you have Finn Balor. And then this is a one-disc set. With an Alexa Bliss card. And then on the spine, you have the Women's Elimination Chamber. So, yeah. And then my final pickup, or y you know what it is um, Extreme Rules 2019. You have. Um, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch and Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. You have um, Kofi Kingston defending the championship against Samoa Joe. Um, Roman Reigns and Undertaker teaming up against Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. Um, Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. And um, AJ Styles versus Ricochet for the United States title. 
And then on the back you have a spoiler. Great. And then you then you open this up and you get a Daniel Bryan card. You have an orange and black disc artwork. Yeah, so those are my pickup or Okay, birthday pickups. Part two. And so and speaking about unboxings, I got stuff coming in the mail. Um, two things are very rare. Like, I'll, I'll give you one of the dates. One is from 2004, but I can't disclose the second date. You, you guys just have to wait. And then I also got another package coming. And I, I don't know when those are when that one's coming, but the two packages are coming on the 9th and then probably the 10th. So I cannot wait to watch these. And I got them for a pretty good price. The rare one I got very cheap like this one like this goes on ebay for probably 20 30 40 bucks and like possibly that's cheap to, to you that's not cheap to me so but i also got an aew package coming that that's the one i don't know when that's coming but Speaking of AEW, if if you guys don't watch wrestling, you, you want to know who this is, but I'm a wrestling channel. I think you guys know who I'm talking about. His name is Jonathan Good, a.k.a. John Moxley, a.k.a. Dean Ambrose. And he has... He has checked himself into a rehab center for alcohol. And I I just want to like acknowledge that he's he is going to pull through this. He he'll come back better, hungrier, and stronger. Like it, like if you thought this match was good against Dean Ambrose and Kenny, he is gonna have better matches than that. But, like, yes, I saw AEW on um, Wednesday, and I and I know this wrestler's not gonna watch this, but I just want to thank CM Punk for what he said. I, I want to thank Phil Brooks, aka CM Punk, for for what he said about for about g my God, I can't speak today about g getting help and ask for it. Call someone, talk to someone. Yes, you need to do that if you are getting help, like. If you don't need help, don't ask for it. But if if you're really like in a tough spot, just ask for it. It's not that hard to pick, to pick up the phone. I'm I'm filming on. It's not hard to pick up a a house phone. But like Yeah. But like he like John Moxley has has been an inspiration to me. Um, he has had good matches. I want I want him to get better so I can like see him like live one day. Um, wait, no wait, I wait. I did see him live. I saw him at Extreme Rules twenty thirteen. Um, yeah, but, like, 
He's had matches with Brody Lee. Like, a bunch of matches with Brody Lee. Um, Roman, Roman from 2015 when he was supposedly going to win the world title. Then got kicked in the face by Sheamus. Um, he's had, he's had plenty of matches and I don't want to see him stop. And his, his new book just came out called Mox that I really want to get. Um, yeah, so I, so, 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 so I just can't wait to, to, to get that. And just for John Moxley to get better, because you, you, you guys all know he's going to come back. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that he, that he, that, that he is not coming back. Be because he will. But, like, let's talk about his great, the, 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 the great matches he's had. Um... Let's see, against Punk, against Rollins in 2014 and 2018. Oops. Um, I, when he was... A AEW champion and he was undefeated until Ke 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 Kenny Omega beat him. And I don't understand how Kenny Omega is still champion. Like, that guy is like on another level. And like, John Moxley versus the Wyatt family with, um, I think Jericho, Roman, and Moxley at Night of Champions 2015, I think. And then also at Su SummerSlam. I, I think that's right. Um, yeah. It's just, like, painful to see what these... Like, like, I'll use Brody Lee as an example real quick. So, like, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes of, of, of wrestling because they don't want to show, like, their emotions. Like, like, like on what, holy crap, like on, um, Wednesday... Like, I saw, like, I, f I felt Punk's emotions, like, right here. Like, like everybody did. But, like, we all know John Moxley is, like, the badass. We didn't know, like, a couple, like, the news came out, like, two days ago that he was going into this rehab and like thank you for telling us this because John, John Moxley got pulled like pulled from pull no sh 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 shut up Patrick and speak <laughs> um from the AEW El El Eliminator Tournament Championship um, t Tournament and it got replaced by Miro. And what what also sucks is Punk was supposed to take his spot, but then Eddie Kingston had to be get involved. So, do you think when Moxley comes back, do you think he'll be a face or a heel? That's something you we have to talk about. Because do you do you guys want to see him as AEW champion again? Yes, yes, yes. 
he 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 had a great run as champion and I don't and I want to see that happen again like I really do and so yeah those are my thoughts on 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 the Moxley deal and do, do you think he'll come back for for revolution in 2022 or did did I know he's not going to be back for full gear, but I don't know when the next pay-per-view is after full gear. Um, yeah. Yeah, guys, it's sad to see what these people are going through. Like, we didn't know Brody Lee was hurt. We didn't know he was in the hospital for two months before his death. We didn't know that. We just thought he had, he had like an injury from the dog collar match. But then we then we find out he he passed. And then um R Renee um Moxley's wife um put out an Instagram tweet um an, an Instagram post slash Twitter tweet um, th th thanking the c community for reaching out about Moxley. And like, no, no. For, Renee, th th thank you for marrying um, um, John. No, no, like, I'm being real. Like, maybe John Moxley wouldn't have checked him, his, himself in to that place if you weren't around. And, and like, I have a Dean Ambrose wallet from, from 2014. So, like, I'm a huge fan of his. Yeah, 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 like, in one video, like, I did about, like, five underrated superstars, five best tag teams. Okay, I did, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of The Shield as a stable. Like, in 2019, I didn't care. And in 2012 through, through 14, oh yeah, I cared. I, I, I cared about all three of them. But if I had to choose two, I I would say Roman Reigns and John Moxley right now. Seth Rollins can go can stop. I'm not a fan of Rollins right now because he keep because I don't think he like deserves it. Yes, yes, he deserves it on occasion, but. He just lost against against Edge in the Hell in the Cell, but you you you're just giving him a championship match like a contract, like Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank isn't for a couple like a year away. Stop. But yeah, guys. Um. Please put your comments down. Um, what are your favorite memory? Okay. What matches do you want to see John Moxley face? And like a bunch of stuff. Like face. And then what's also stupid is now we're, we're and now we're gonna shift gears to a little thing I like to call Vince screws up. Yes, Vince screws up everything. A bunch, eighteen superstars, eighteen got released today. Got released like 
yesterday or two days ago. But there are four, like, two or, th like, two names. And I'm not a big fan of hers at all. Some of the time I am. Her, her name is Nia Jax. Yes. The reason I don't like her is that she hurts people. She puts people in the hospital. But here's, here's a little lead way. I like her style of wrestling. But these people have jobs or this person had a job. So she went on Twitter earlier today saying she asked her her like return date to Raw was November 15th. She asked she asked for more time off because of her mental breakdown that she had. And they didn't respond to her. And then a couple hours later, oh yeah, you're you're terminated. Bye. Like how Like, this girl, I'm sorry, this w w woman put seven years into your company and over a breakdown, you're not going to give her time off or more time off. And you're just going to do that. You're going to turn the lights off and sign her ter termination papers what and then there's another wrestler that we all know that we all know and love his name i, I i'm i'm not no wait there's actually th one more name after this um the second name is Keith Lee. Goodness. Okay, so you have this guy win two titles. The North American Championship and the NXT Championship at the same time ending a record-breaking NXT title reign of 404 days. No, wait. Four, 403 days by Adam Cole. And then... You... You put him in the Rumble in 2000... Like... 2021. He goes up against Brock Lesnar. No, wait. No, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He, go he goes into Survivor Series. Raw, NXT, and SmackDown. How? He rips through Raw and SmackDown. He he almost won the match. And then and then back to what I was saying. No way, I'm sorry. The 2020 Rumble. I'm sorry. Um he goes up against Lesnar. He almost eliminates Lesnar. And then you don't have him on TV because of a real life situation. He almost died from COVID. 
And then you bring him back. <laughs> this, this stupid idiot. They call him Bear, uh, I'm sorry, Keith Bearcat Lee. Bearcat. What? 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 Bearcat Lee? Really? Bearcat. Yeah, this was a hard um, release to get over because that guy that guy had a lot of talent, dude. He 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 does moon salts off the top rope. When when have you ever seen a three hundred and fifty pounder to four hundred pounds beside besides Mark Henry and Big Show breaking the ring? Besides that, and besides Brock Lesnar and Big Show breaking the ring, besides Mar besides Braun Strowman, Big Show breaking the ring, breaking breaking the steel cage, when have you ever seen a full 400 pounder jump off the top rope? When have you ever seen that? And then, um, Karrion Cross, a former NXT champion. And then he wears a stupid helmet on his head. Yeah, yeah, he got released too. And his wife, who we never saw wrestle. It's weird, man. And this is like their third b b b b b b budget cuts. Like the fiend is gone. Kurt Angle is gone. Like that was like the first budget cut. Okay, guys, I I'm gonna get out of here. I have to watch the the Royal Rumble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please pray for please pray for John Moxley. Peace out.